as a prelude to next month's interview with K. Rademacher about the release of his new Frank Stave novel, The Forger. This review of the two earlier novels in the series will give you a flavor of what to expect. If you are not familiar with Rademacher, his writing covers similar territory to Philip Kerr and Volker Kutcher Babylon Berlin only grittier. Less wising, more atmosphere. The novels are set in post-World War II Hamburg, and are satisfyingly complex mysteries in the best noir traditions, compulsive reading for fans of historical crime thrillers. The Murder in Ruins is set in Hamburg in January, 1947, in the midst of the coldest winter on record as low as minus 36. Chief Inspector Frank Save, Sid British police ranks have replaced the old German titles as haunted by the death of his wife in a storm caused by British bombs in 1945. He spends his free time at the Hauptbahnhof, the main station, looking for his son. It's a meeting place for the lost and returning masses. Karl Stave was last seen on the Eastern Front in Berlin at the end of the war. He was 17 at the time. Hamburg has an elected German mayor but is still under the control of the British occupying force. They are running the war crimes tribunals in the area. For the German population, there are food shortages and strict rationing. People are starving and dying from the cold. When the body of a young woman, naked and unblemished except for the strangulation mark on her neck, is found in the rubble much of the city has been raised, Stave is called in to investigate, establishing when she is complicated by the freezing weather conditions. She has no identification and a trawl of bars and brothels on the Reeperbahn reveals nothing. Maybe the woman is a foreigner and new to the city, but then public transport is limited and Germans are not allowed petrol for private use. The British send an officer to oversee the investigation, Lieutenant James MacDonald, and Stave is given Inspector Mashke from Vice as his deputy. After all, the woman was naked, which must mean something despite posters and extensive interviews, the investigation gets nowhere until a seemingly random clue leads Stave to the murderer and links the case back to a tragic atrocity in France during the war. Stave attempts to be stoical but he is drained by loss. He thinks the things that are happening to Germany may be karma. Stave didn't hate the occupying army even though it had been an English bomb that had taken his wife from him. He felt more ashamed of the crimes committed by the Nazi regime. His city and his life lay in ruins. It was the punishment of a sort. Life is all about survival if only I had schnapps he thought to himself then at least I could drink myself to sleep. Rademacher makes a lot out of the lack of evidence during the initial stages of the inquiry. This builds the tension nicely, especially as the bodies pile up. The sense of desperation and thwarted effort seems very appropriate to the time and place. The murder in ruins is based on real events but the crimes of the rubble murderer were never solved nor the identities of the victims ever discovered. Rademacher gives us a less haunting and more satisfying ending. The Wolf Children is set in the hot summer that follows the events in The Murder in Ruins. The body of a young boy, maybe 12, certainly no more than 14, is found in the rubble of a disused factory building at the Blomann Voss shipyard. The bloody body is strewn across an unexploded bomb, so the fire brigade has to defuse the device before the police examination can begin. The boy was discovered by workers clearing the building to house some of the machinery removed from other buildings and currently rusting away in the open. The British are insisting the shipyard that built the Bismarck and launched half of Germany's U-boats is why dismantled. The manner of the murder suggests a cold-hearted killer. The British Governor Vaughan Berry has asked Lieutenant MacDonald to oversee the investigation, but unofficially this time. The boy's name is traced to a report by Greta Bosel of her missing nephew, Adolf Winkelmann, born in 1933. Finally, after two years of searching, news arrives that Carl Stave is alive and will be coming home. Stave is in a relationship with Anna von Weckenhausen, a complication for his son's return from a Russian prison camp. Adolf was a wolf child, a gang of near-feral youngsters who have come from East and have learned to look after themselves, living where they can, trading in the black market, selling themselves if necessary and stealing. A second youngster is killed and Stave connects the two murders to the black market activities they are engaged in. The local cops don't seem interested, when Stave asks, what what's the motive? The reply from Donica is, a sack of coal three lucky strikes a pallet to sleep on in an anti-aircraft bunker an amenable widow there's no law and order among these kids. The reality of life in Hamburg in both novels is harsh. Rademacher creates a strong sense of atmosphere, a vivid portrait of a dark period in history. From the terrible conditions people have to live into the dominance of the black market in the economic life of the city. 
Crime stories are often about the marginalized in society but everyone in these novels lives is on the margins. The novels convey the chaos and hardship of the immediate post-war period. Even Hamburg's amusement mile was a ghost town as present. The light was fading but nobody had electricity for neon signs. Several of the bars and clubs had been bombed, the Panopticum, the Volksoper and the Café Menka all lay in ruins. No one bats an eyelid at the plight of Hildegard, a 14-year-old girl brutally raped by Russian soldiers who lives hand-to-mouth as a prostitute. These stories are gritty and realist, they have a cold tone, darkest noir. The murder in ruins has a longer setup, the wolf children a stronger emotional pull, but both are extremely good, complex mysteries, chilling and thrilling. I can't wait to read The Forger. Paul Bork Five Quarters The Murder in Ruins by K. Rademica Arcadia Books 9781910050484 PBK August 2015 The Wolf Children by K. Rademica Arcadia Books 9781910050989 PBK March 2017